mechanical room slash attic. So today we're installing one of these guys. Uh, it's an iWave R. This is the residential version, does up to six tons of cooling, um, or of airflow, I'm sorry. Um, so this is made by New Calgon. It's a plasma-based purifier. Uh, these things are actually pretty good. Uh, what I like to use these for is um, when you have a, a coil that has dirty sock syndrome, these things that work great. So basically what you would do is you would clean the heck out of the coil with a disinfectant spray. It's very important that it's a disinfectant. Uh, and then you pop one of these in and the smell doesn't come back. Because if you use a, just the disinfectant spray, uh, the coil will be good for about a year, maybe a year and a half, but then the smell comes back. So you pop one of these in here, the smell doesn't come back. Um, and they're super easy uh, to install. So this is what it, the unit looks like. It's got a little self cleaner. So it's got these little brushes that clean off the little uh, the little uh, plasma injectors or whatever you call them. Uh, and then it's super easy to install. You can screw it in, you can cut a hole into a duct uh, and then mount it into the duct like that. Uh, or you can put it inside the return cavity, like what I'm gonna do. It's got these crazy magnets on there, so you don't even have to screw it in. I mean, it's, it's pretty on there. Uh, but yeah, the cool thing about this is it does like four different voltages. You can do 24 volts, 124 volts, or I'm sorry, 24 volts, 120 volts, uh, two, 208 or 230. And you don't have to switch anything. It's just the same two wires. It just automatically knows what voltage you're using. So basically your, your, your high volt or your powered voltage is gonna be these, these two wires here, the black and white wire, okay? And so your black would be, if you're doing 24, your black wire would go onto R and your white wire would go on to common. If you're doing 120, your black wire would go to hot and your white wire would go to neutral. If you're doing 208, uh, this would be line one and that'd be line two. If you're doing 240, line one, line two. And that's it. And then you got a ground, which is the green wire. Now these two red wires here, this is if you want to hook up a remote light. So you could hook up like a little LED light so you know you know, like maybe have it outside of the unit so you know the unit's on. It does have a built-in light right here, but this is for a situation like if you want to be able to know if the thing's running uh, without having to take the door off. Uh, and, and it's optional. You don't have to use it. Um, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to go ahead and zip tie it out of the way. Uh, but yeah, and as far as mounting this thing, uh, it's super easy. I'm going to just use the magnets. Uh, so yeah, now... This is actually a pain unit or a carrier, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to use the 120 voltage and I'm going to use the EAC hookup, which is back there. I don't know if you can see that. It's this one right here and a neutral. So I'm going to put spade connectors on those wires and just plug it in. And then uh, what will happen is because this has an EAC, it'll only power this up when the fan is running. Because when the fan's not running, it's not going to be, pu be purifying anything. So you only want it purifying when the fan's running. So I'm going to hook it up to EAC. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get this all prepped. So I'm going to put on all my uh, all my uh, uh, spade connectors and get everything all set up. So we'll be right back. So here we go. Okay, so I got all my ends and everything prepped. So I got that for the ground. I got my spades connected. So what I'm going to do is uh, you want to make sure that they... Now you, you can put this in any direction you want uh, however the airflow does need to be proper so in this case my airflow is going this way so I need it to be that way so like that no good this is how we want it okay and you can do uh, in this case we want it this way or it could go this way I'm gonna do it this way just so the wires are closer and uh, I'm just gonna try to put it like right in the center of the blower area as close as possible and that magnet's pretty strong, so I don't even need to screw it in. Uh, and then there is a toggle switch right here. So you want to make sure that that's on, otherwise it'll kill power. Okay, and these are my uh, alarm wires. So this is basically for that remote uh, LED, but we're not going to use it. So I'm just going to zip tie it once I'm done. And then as far as the ground, we're going to go ahead and just ground it to that run cap. And then we'll take these guys here. There's like a nice little hole right here. I'll go ahead and shove that in there, like that. And there we go. So, 
get this connected. I need two hands for this, so I'm gonna get this all connected first. Okay, so we got it all hooked up, so you can tell here we got it hooked, uh, we got our hotline hooked up to EAC1. All right, come on, focus in there. Yeah, see it right there, this blue one here. And then we got this one here, which is on EAC2, which is our neutral. And then we grounded it to this, uh, to this transformer back here. And then uh, we just zip tied all that together. And then we've, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, plugged these ends. So, uh, because we're not using any kind of wire, so you just don't use it at all. Uh, some people, I've seen some people wire nut them together. I, I don't know if I'd want to do that just because there's no load, so it could potentially short. Um, I don't really want to risk trying because these things aren't cheap, but uh, yeah. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you can wire that nut those things back together. Because as far as I know, there would be no load, so it'd be a direct short. So I don't know. Because uh, you're supposed to put a 24 volt uh, AC LED on that. Uh, you know, so you, and then you would mount that outside. So when the case is all covered, you can still see what it's doing. Uh, there is a little light on the end of that. It's right there, in there. So uh, we're gonna power this up and the light won't come on until, unless the fan's running. So here we go. So as you can see, there's no green light there and that's because the fan's not running. We'll give it a second. This has got one of those carrier communication zone things going on in here. So it probably takes a minute before it calls for fan. Okay, so it should be calling for fan. So if you look now, there's our green light. Pretty nifty, huh? And when it's not calling for fan, it'll kill the power for that. So that's a nice, quick, easy way to uh, install a uh, iWave in a carrier product. Uh, there are other brands that have EAC hookups. I think Lennox does it too, and you would basically do it the same way. Uh, and it's just really nice when you're doing purifiers. Like even if you're doing like an air scrubber or any one of those, you can hook that up. Uh, what you can do is you hook the transformer up into the because uh, those are 24 volts only, you hook a transformer up to the EAC port on there, and then it'll just power the transformer on and off, which will turn the purifier on and off. Because honestly, if you're doing those uh, purifiers, you should always put a secondary transformer, especially if you're running a Nest thermostat. If you just hook it up to R and C on a Nest, it will totally make that Nest thermostat do crazy weird things. So uh, don't do that. Always put it on a secondary circuit. So anyway, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.